what are you expecting and, and what level could we go to today? Are you expecting us to, to move through that 4,300 point mark? Friday, the spy futures have, have us moving through 4,300 points, which is a key psychological level for our market. In the past, when we have gone past this point, we haven't managed a co confident break. We've gotten as high as 3,460 points before moving back down again. So what the market is looking for is not only a clean break of this mark, but also a sustained rally above it for some confidence to come back into the Australian market. Of course, last week we saw a positive performance by our market, up by 1.5%, but it's still underperforming the U.S as you mentioned, Bridie. But this week there are some hopes for the Aussie market because while we did see the US performance quite flat on Friday, it was the materials and the energy space which were the biggest percentage gainers. And because this area is such a big chunk on the Aussie share market, this should help uh, propel our market forward. We saw BHP up by half a percent in London and Rio Tinto gaining 0.9 percent. There are also some big stocks trading ex-dividend today to keep an eye on. Woolies and Newcrest Mining trade ex dividend, so we're expecting to see some losses in that stock to reflect the shares trading without the dividends. And we're also watching a couple of other stocks. Insurance Australia Group looking at raising $350 million through a hybrid issue. And we're also watching Grain Corp after Ellistone uh, Capital, which of course is backed by PACA, raised uh, its stake to 6.24% last week. So altogether, it looks like an interesting day on the Aussie share market, and we should be well supported by our resource stocks. There are a a number of Indonesian projects in focus at the moment. What in particular are you watching? Well, a couple of weeks ago we heard that the Indonesian government is looking at making all mining projects in Indonesia majority owned by the Malay uh, Indonesian companies or by uh, an arm of the Indonesian government. And what was in question was uh, existing projects because we know that a lot of the big miners here in Australia have huge projects over in Indonesia. It does look like there's a report out in our Fairfax newspapers with an Indonesian senior official talking uh, to Fairfax saying that existing existing projects may have to be renegotiated, especially naming BHP Billiton and Rio Tinto. If we have a look at BHP Billiton, they own 75% of uh, an Indomet coal project. Um, and if we have a look at Rio Tinto, they own 40% of the Grasberg project in Ind Indonesia. Newcrest Mining may also be affected with its Gro Grozo Wong uh, project, which it owns 82.5% of. But of course, this is a move by governments all around the world to try and cash in on the revenue from uh, the mining boom. We've seen it here in Australia, we've seen it in the likes of Brazil, and we're now seeing it in Indonesia as well. So keeping a close eye on any updates coming through from the Indonesian government about existing Indonesian mining projects. Guns, that's uh, been a bit of a sorry tale. It is due to come back online today. What's your outlook for the company? Friday, this company is due to come back um, onto the market, but really we've heard no updates coming through from the company. Of course, this company went into a trading halt after uh, uh, Richard Chandler backed out of a capital raising uh, act which was supposed to act as a white knight to the Bell Bay pulp mill. So all eyes really on guns to see whether or not it can come up with the funds to proceed with the Bell Bay pulp mill. And the market's really watching to see that if this capital raising is going to go ahead and whether it's going to rise from $130 million to $280 million and who might take up the shortfall. So it is a big day for guns. No word from the company yet, but it does look like the Foreign Investment Review Board has okayed and green-lighted the sale of Green Triangle and that should help raise $380 million to help pay down debt and that's one of the key troubles with guns at the moment. It is a company which is laden with debt and if we have a look at how much debt it has, well we know that in December uh, it's going to have a large amount of debt due to pay $340 million plus a $24 million penalty. So the market's watching for those asset sales but the key thing today is the capital raising, uh, how much they're, that they are looking to raise and whether they have someone to take up the shortfall which will which would be left by Richard Chandler so hopefully we will see some of the key announcements coming through from the company and it will be a big one to watch